Hey, what's up guys? I'm DJ Rocco and today I'm going to show you guys how it is that I set up my Serato crates. Uh, a few days ago I went to the Apple store, uh, got the new OS uh, Sierra installed and in the process I had them wipe my entire computer like it's brand new straight out the box. I had them wipe it clean. The reason for this is because as far as my music, it was I'm very OCD when it comes to my music and you guys will see why here in a moment. But it got to a point where I got very uh, unorganized and it was driving me crazy. So instead of trying to rebuild everything and it was a complete disaster and the only reason that happened was because I have gigs that come up sometimes and sometimes you just start dumping stuff like oh I'll go back and organize it and before you know it everything's out of order. So what I decided to do was and I had been meaning to do this for a while. One I needed to update the OS. Two I said screw it I'm just gonna start all over with my library rebuild my crates and again I'm very OCD there's steps to um, the way I organize it it's not just download and drop it into a folder I you guys will see here in a moment some of you guys want a new way of doing it and there's nothing wrong with that so I'm gonna show you my way it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way it's just what works best for me um, so let's get into that so let's get started alright so I'm rebuilding my crates from scratch I'm going to use this song as an example so you guys can see exactly what it is that I do. Okay, I go into BPM Supreme, okay, I download every version, and the reason I do this, and this is just for me, this doesn't need to be anything that you guys need to do, is simply because for me, I like to have every version that's out there. It's kind of like with vinyl. You used to have two pieces of vinyl that had the clean, the dirty, instrumental, acapella, so on and so on and so on. So for me, I just collect them all. Okay, that's just that does again. This doesn't pertain to this. Here's my music crates. Here's all the Serato. Now you notice I have it set up by website that I go to BPM Supreme, and these are just party breaks, uh, Club Killers, Headliner Music Club. I have a specific folder for a specific DJ slash remixer because this specific person puts out so much stuff. I felt that in order for me to be able to get straight to a specific remix from this person, I would give them their specific folder. So there's a ton of stuff in here from said remixer. Now again, this is another site. So I'm going to use BPM Supreme as an example for this. Now. As you see here, everything is categorized by a specific year. This is hip hop from 2000 to 2009, 2010, and so on. This is all the 80s stuff. This is all the 90s stuff. This is house that I've downloaded. Now, this is house music. And by house music, it just says, if it says, if it specifies, or if it is just house music, it's not electro house, it's not... Uh, you know, Melbourne Bounce, or whatever the case may be, it's just house that goes in here. Now, as you see here, I created a Latin Moombatone and a regular Moombatone because it's two different things. One is the Latin Moombatone, which is like the J Balvin's, anything Daddy Yankee remix, that's Moombatone remix, goes in there. If it's more on the top 40 hip-hop Moombatone feel, I give them that one. I put it in there. Now I have the new Latin Urbano, basically reggaeton, and that's my way of identifying with it. Instead of saying reggaeton, it's the current stuff. It's the stuff that's been out, say, the last, I don't know, five years, or not even that, maybe four years. And then I obviously am going to create an older Latin Urbano folder. Now, as you notice, everything here is also tagged BPM Supreme. That's just again coincides to where it's coming from now uh, I don't have anything for club killers because I haven't made my way there yet but I also have something for headliner music club click in here it says hip-hop from 2010s HMC again that's gonna identify that that's coming from headliner music club which is also up here and as you see here I have a fade HMC folder why because again five and Eric deluxe make up fade they put out so much of their own stuff that, obviously I only, only downloaded a couple, um, that I felt that, again, with them, I'm going to give them their specific folder. And I'm not only doing that with them, there's going to be, of course, a DJQ folder. Uh, Fashion has been putting out a lot of stuff. I'm giving him his own folder. 
And it doesn't matter what type of remix it is that they've made. It's just so I know that they've made this specific bootleg, this specific remix. So it goes in there. Okay, so we'll say, okay, here's what I do. Select all, play. Okay, we know what it is. So here's what I do. Click on the song, control, click, or right click, go to info. What I like to do is get rid of everything that doesn't have to do with the song itself. No offense to BPM Supreme, okay, it has nothing to do with them. This is just an additional way for me to um, get rid of all the unnecessary stuff that's on there, okay? So, um, it's not that I'm hiding it because obviously I'm keeping the, you know, where I got it from. I'm keeping their um their graphic their artwork up here it stays there okay so we go back up here okay what's the difference when did it's it's a hip-hop record that was released in 2000 so what i like to do is <clears throat> all right just like that put in 2000s hip-hop Okay, now if you again you'll notice up here in the top left hand corner, right here it says 2000s hip hop BPM Supreme. Okay, so I hit OK. All right, now sorry, wasn't supposed to do that. So I do that again here. Down, delete that 2000s hip hop. The year was released in 2000. Go down here, comments, get rid of that. That stays there. Now, one thing I will suggest, and you'll see this in when we get into the Serato folder, is that all of the artists are named exactly the same way. And the reason, and the reason for this is because I'll use Tupac, for example. Some people spell it T-U-P-A-C. Okay, that's the way his birth name was written. Okay, then you'll see other websites that have it, the number two, P-A-C, and then you'll have someone else spell it, the number two, a space, P-A-C. Okay, now I looked it up. The right way of using it, the right way of spelling it is the number two, no space, P-A-C. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. All right, so back to this. So I go through this every single time. Again, my way is very tedious. I get rid of all this. I don't need all that, you know. Again, shout out to BPM Supreme. They put out a lot of great content. Definitely look them up if you haven't already, okay. It's just, just my way of wanting to tag my stuff and organize my stuff. I don't need album artists. I don't need the composer. I don't need additional comments, okay. All right, so now we go back, bring this down. Okay, 2000s hip hop. Boom, you see that there's already stuff in here. Now look at how clean this is. There isn't anything that says has the artist name and then the song. This is just the song, okay? Now I'll show you really quick uh, one of my more detailed folders. Look at this. This is, other than the artwork, I mean, you know, that's just another thing. But look, again, if you look, all that is organized song title, okay? It just looks, that already looks that much cleaner as opposed to song title, song title, and then you have Notorious B.I.G. slash Big Papa. Big Papa Dirty slash Notorious B.I.G. You know what I mean? You guys have seen it. You guys probably have it. I had it like that. My folders... At one point, when I first started in Serato, it looked a mess. Okay, so, uh, but definitely this is a good way of doing it. All right, select all. Now, what you're gonna do, simple, you drag them over, see them load. Now, here's where you, here's what you want to do. You don't want to have multiple copies of these songs. So, what do you do? Everything's already highlighted here in iTunes. Con command, delete. You don't want to keep the file. You're going to move everything to the trash. Now you go back to download. 
in the downloads folder, you're going to do the same thing. Everything's already highlighted. Command delete brings everything into your trash. Now, if you look here, look at the way this right here came from the downloads folder. This down here came from the iTunes folder. Now, you see the difference, no pun intended. You have Dr. Dre featuring Exhibit and Eminem. What's the difference? Clean. Okay, now you look down here. What's the difference? Clean. You don't have Dr. Dre. You don't have all this. So what your Serato folders should look like mirror this to this. That's what you want. So now what we don't want is we have these still on the computer. Get rid of them immediately. Done. Okay. iTunes is wiped. Download folders is wiped, and this helps keep you organized in your downloads folder. You don't have all this stuff that's just left over. Okay, so now I already have Serato DJ pulled up. So now watch. Okay, I have 90s BPM, or excuse me, 90s hip hop BPM Supreme. So now we go to files, we go to my music, Serato Crates, BPM Supreme, 2000 hip hop. Now, as you see, I haven't made a folder for this yet here. I haven't made a crate for it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this folder out of my files within the computer. And there it is. Boom. Now, look at this. Look how clean this is. All this perfect. You know what everything is. You know when every song was released. You have all the BPMs. The genres match exactly the same. Tell me that's not clean. So here's what we're going to do. We close that out. We don't need the files. So now, actually, yes, we do. Excuse me. So now what we do is we go, we drag this into here, right underneath it, right in between BPM Supreme and the 90s folder. Boom, we drop it there. Okay, well, we know 2000 doesn't come before 1990. So what we're going to do is drag it below, and there it is. Now, of course, you want to analyze everything. I'll show you the entire, just so far, I haven't even finished. I have a lot of work to do. I still have to do the 80s pop. I still have to do the 80s hip hop. And I'm going to tell you guys, even with the current stuff, I'll show you guys. Everything I'm keeping basically within the year. I'm not using genres. And the reason I'm not using genres, I'm not using hip hop, R&B, so on and so on, and trying to separate it by years because of the fact that there's so much music, everything is changing so much daily that I'd rather just keep all of the music from those 10 years, 10 years, yeah, nine years, whatever, uh, <laughs> within one folder. It's easier to get to, you know where everything is at, so I'll show you guys here in a second. Okay, that's all, look at that. Look how clean this is. All the tags, everything is has a specific intro, all the years. Okay, so now we can go and collapse that. And now look at the look at your Serato crates here on the left side. Everything is clean. My 12 inch. Here's what I have. I have a song from Lupe Fiasco. Okay, I have goodies in here. Again, look how clean that looks. I have that. Now, I'm going to show you when you click all what it looks like. There it is. You have every single song has its year, has its BPM, is tagged correctly, and every song has its genre. So, all those additional steps that I take after I download a song, put it in iTunes write all the tags correctly and then put them over into the appropriate folders bring those that folder into serato gives me this i don't have to sit there and scramble oh my god where is this song i remember i had this song i don't know where the song is it's there and if you're wondering why why i put the year well what if i need to do a 90s party bam all of my 90s stuff is here.
we'll say 90s BPM. I'm going to have a lot more, obviously. But, okay, all my 90s stuff. All my stuff from, damn, okay, what if I can't find back that thing up in BPM Supreme, which I didn't, surprisingly enough, they didn't have it. So I got it for my 12-inch. Okay, cool. Now everything is set. Everything is ready to go. If I need to do a 90s party, all I have to do is go to all, click it, and there it is. All of my 90s stuff. I wasn't like this before. It took me having to have a hard drive stolen and have to go to Vegas. And a friend of mine, shout out CyberKid, helped me to be better organized. And I thank him for that every single time I redo this. I've redone this I don't know how many times already. And it helps. It honestly helps. But you have to stay on top of it. One of my biggest things was I didn't stay on top of it. I had a lot of pink uh, files. And if you know what those are, then you know those are a pain in the ass. That would drive me crazy. I hated not knowing that where that song went. I know I have it somewhere. And I know so many of you guys have pink files in your Serato, uh, in Serato right now. This is such an easy way to keep everything clean. Again, the only thing is it's very tedious. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Now, this is a song that just came out a couple months ago. Okay. So... What I am doing now is, this is 2010. So basically anything from 2010 to 2019 is going to go in here. And that means, as you see, I've been <laughs> grabbing a bunch of Bruno Mars stuff and some Pitbull stuff already. Again, the reason I'm doing this is because of the fact that I don't want to know that it's old. I don't want to know. I don't care that it's new. I don't care that it's old. I don't care if it's something that hasn't been released yet. The fact that it falls in between these this gap of 2010 and 2019 is where everything's going to go because for me this is where I want it to this is what I want to do this is where I want to keep everything this is how I'm going to feel better organized so we're going to do the same thing click on it control right or excuse me right click control click um okay all that gone now this is pop and one of the things that I do is, if you see it says pop and you notice it's 24K magic, it's quote unquote top 40. But because it's more of a pop feel and it's something that's radio friendly, I just, I call it pop. For me, it's just pop. Okay. Boom. The year was released this year. This is the English version. There is a Spanish version. In that aspect... Because it's um, a Spanish version, I'm going to dump it into the pop section. I'm not going to put that in a Latin section because even though it is a Latin song and it's not actually reggaeton, it's, it is an actual pop record. It's going to go into this pop folder. It's just going to say Spanish version. All right, so same thing here. You know what I mean? Go to get info, get rid of that. We tag it correctly as far as the genre. Hit OK, click, and drag. Get rid of what's in iTunes. We don't want to keep the files. Get rid of what's in downloads folders. Open up your trash can. Again, if you see the way it's set up, there, these are, this is what was downloaded, and this was what was in iTunes after I retagged it. So now we empty out the trash. Okay, it's sitting in there. Open up Serato DJ. All right, uh, I haven't created the pop, so let's go to 10,010. Again, you see 2010's pop BPM Supreme. That's where it's coming from. Drag it over. And drop it there. Drop it there. Boom. 
And now, look at how clean this looks. Chain The chain smokers. Some people are going to have chain smokers. That's fine. Others are going to have the chain smokers. That's fine. Um, everything on here is set that way. Now, let's go ahead and analyze. Couple couple seconds here, none too long. But again, if you notice it, while that's doing that, let's go back up here. Look at this, guys. I mean, this is ridiculously clean. This is what Serato. This is what your Serato folders and crates should look like. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. So you guys now see how OCD I am when it comes to my Serato library, my crates. Um, this works for me. I don't know if it's going to work best for you. This is just my way of doing it. I hope maybe this will help or this will maybe spark some way for you guys to create your own way of doing this. But again, this is just my way of doing it. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the wrong way. It's just my way. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.